Tonight on Be Green, what do you do when you pull the plug? If you've ever wondered what happens to your electronic equipment when you're ready to say goodbye, well, our environment columnist Gideon Ed Carney has some answers. Hopefully most people know when they're done with their TV or computer or cordless phone, the right thing to do is to bring it to an eco center, not throw it in the trash. The problem is this though, a lot of what goes to the eco center ends up getting shipped to China. But one Canadian company is working hard for a more local solution to e-waste. It's a company called GEEP, G-E-E-P, which stands for Global Electric Electronic Processing. Think of it as your computer or cell phone's version of the afterlife. This is where many of Montreal's used electronics come to die. GEEP can recycle pretty much anything under the sun uh, as far as electronics go. So anything with a battery or a power cord we can handle and dispose of ecologically. It's Bruce Hartley's job to make sure that the process remains transparent so you know exactly what's being done with your e-waste. Uh, an end user bringing us a sewing machine, a uh, printer, a copier is only looking for environmental disposal. Yep. We can do that. We'll, we'll handle it by weight and provide them with a disposal report or environmental certificate. By separating machinery into its components, GEEP performs a sort of eco-friendly and above-ground version of strip mining. All metals and even plastic bits are either reused as is, melted down and sold, or burned for fuel. And if your machine is not quite ready to die, there's the promise of electronic rebirth, that is, refurbishment. So we'll provide them with data security services guaranteed, remarket the equipment, providing them a, a fair market return on their, on their value of that asset. For the moment, being green has its price. Geep charges a few dollars per item to be recycled, but large companies with a high turnover rate for equipment might actually save money by recycling. A lot of times when they're disposing after two, three years, it's the assets still have value. So we provide a, a nice chunk of the credit back to them, hopefully enough to even offset all the costs and provide them the check back. And we will uh, prolong the life of that equipment for another two, three years by reselling it. And it's not just remotes and modems getting a second chance. We are uh, partners with uh, CEFAIR, Centre de Formation en Entreprise et Récupération. So their uh, alliance is with the Bureau en Gros, and users can drop off their equipments there. They dismantle it, and we take back the commodities of that, of that product. We're also helping them to reinstate the kids into a workforce by providing them with a stage, as well as hiring them full-time. In the front room of their Dorval Recycling Center, Geep sells second-hand equipment at bargain prices. It's here, Hartley says, where consumers can get the most out of being green. You can get a, quali a quality refurbished laptop for half to a third the price of new, and it's a stable machine. I've posted more information on my blog. Just log on to cbc.ca slash Montreal at 6. Look for the Be Green link. And I want to know, would you be willing to buy a refurbished computer or printer instead of a brand new one? And if not, why? Leave me a comment or call 514-597-5626. I'm Geeta Natkarni. Until next time, be green. Thanks a lot, Geeta.